Mr Keating, thanks for joining us. It'll be a pleasure not to be here. The Gospel according to Paul, is this the autobiography you always said you'd never write? <sighs> no, 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 not at all. I, uh, I agree with the late, great Samuel Goulburn who said that uh, no one should write an autobiography until after they're dead. Now this is uh, simply an opportunity to remind people what political courage looks like, what leadership looks like. But perhaps you'll give us some insight into your many, many years in Canberra. Well, Canberra was a very different place when I arrived there back in 69. There were no hipster bars or boutique gin distilleries back then. Senate Estimates was considered a good night out. You know, no one worried about MPs rorting parliamentary entitlements a, because you very rarely got any, and B, there was fuck all to spend them on if you did. So are you looking forward to touring the country and reminding them that you're still here? Well, as you know, I, I do like to keep a very low profile, but I can still throw the switch to vaudeville. And I'm very much looking forward to visiting all those places I used to fly over at 30,000 feet on the way to Paris. Paul Keating, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, don't forget to uh, read out the dates and the ticket prices.